So let's be as honest as possible. Here's the truth. It's been hard to get out of bed. It has been hard to get stuff done, to, um, you know, pat yourself on the back in the morning, like, good job, like, you woke up, whoa! That's been so rough these past few days, and I've been months working on that, like, okay, we're gonna, we're gonna boost myself, we're gonna, you know, get that motivation, do some really cool stuff, whatever, and then this quarantine stuff hit, and it was like, yeah, no, let's not do that. So, um, here's the truth. This vlog in itself was completely unplanned and it was born out of zero motivation. story. Here is the interesting reality of this very vlog. So we were struggling to uh, do everyday things and by we I mean my brother and I and I was specifically struggling to concentrate on doing online school and trying to get stuff done um, and then my mother was like you and your brother should cook for the family make some dinner and I was like, oh, I'm just gonna push myself, let's see what happens. Um, and then I thought to myself, maybe I, I, I shouldn't, ju I, I just shouldn't bother my brother. I'm just gonna try to do it myself. And this is my poopy sister. But the day before, I was literally sitting down with my family and talking about how difficult it was for me to ask for help because I'm one of those really, really independent people. But I was like, you know what? I'm gonna stop trying to be the hero and I'm gonna, you know, try to not only motivate myself but him too so i was like hey emmanuel let's let's cook something together let's get creative in the kitchen and he was like you know what let's let's like put some music let's let's try to pump let's pump up the mood a little bit dua lipa this cannot go on the vlog because it is copyright. and then he goes wait take out your camera let's do let's do a vlog or something and i was like nah Man, I haven't vlogged in like a month. I don't feel motivated to vlog anything. We took out the camera, we started filming us in the kitchen. Tubikis, tamblakapu. Cauliflower. Vocabulary of the day. Chicken. Vocabulary of the day. Dude. Yay, you got it. Yummy, yummy. Yummy. And then next thing you knew, halfway through the cooking process, my brother goes, oh my gosh, Jasmine, we have studio lights downstairs, we have a fog machine, and um, we have a camera. Let's get creative. You know, I was the one that remembered that, that he made a song for me a while ago for a personal project. And we came down here and we turned on the lights, we turned on the fog machine, and we just had the most spontaneous, spontaneous moment of inspiration caught on camera. So I have concluded from this experience that the best things come from pushing yourself in the most unmotiv unmotivated moment of your life. And also that things happen, like the best things happen when it's completely unplanned. So that is what I've concluded from this experience. And I don't know, I just, I, I felt like sharing it with you guys.
solution. <laughs> What's up, guys? Today we're shooting a quarantine. Well, we're not really shooting a quarantine video, um, but we're shooting something. We're being what? creative artists, like What's, we are. What's creativity? I don't know, man. I don't know what that is. <laughs> so it's been a while, but that's okay. This is my amazing brother, Emmanuel Batista. And this is my poopy sister. I'm poopy. <laughs> From now on, you guys will refer to her as that. Yes. So we are shooting a creative concept no, I'm sorry, video. We, don't do shootings in this area. we are doing a concept video, and we are taking you behind the scenes of what it means to be a creative person in the midst. In the midst. <laughs> In the midst. Yes. 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 All right, let's get everything set up. Ready, Emmanuel? Yes. <laughs> fog machine. Fog machine. This is a fog machine. LED lights in our basement, like a true champ. Oh, 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 con. I smell the fog. Ooh. It smells like caca. <laughs> everything today we have successfully finished at 12 a.m. yeah everything's foggy woo <sighs> mm -hmm. gorgeous 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 wow so that piece was actually inspired by something that I wrote it was very personal to me and um, my brother took direction of the whole thing basically um, and through this experience, I actually gained a lot of confidence because it's not easy for me to like, I don't know, just stare into a camera and like show emotion. Like that was not really acting. I wouldn't call that acting. That was just be me being myself and showing my emotions. That'll be a special project that is not gonna be out yet. Um, that That's gonna be in the works for a few months. And I can't wait for it to be out in the world when it's time for it to be out in the world. But I will never forget this experience because these things, like something like this happening out of the blue, completely from born out of unmotivation, um, born out of um, a lot of just something that you wouldn't plan. And it was just something that was so spontaneous. And it was just, to me, it's mind boggling because I had thought about it for months after I had written that. I had thought about it for months. I was like, man, what if we did like a camera production, whatever. And I had kind of been planning stuff out in my head for months. And then I, this was born and it was like, you know what? It was nothing like I planned it. It was nothing like I expected it to be. And it was born during quarantine when we were the most unmotivated and we felt like doing nothing. This just sort of happened. I wouldn't say it was born out of boredom. 
because it just wasn't. It wasn't boredom. It was just unmotivation. Like, there's no other word to describe it. Anyway, thank you guys so much for uh, clicking on this video. I hope you guys have a blessed day and I hope that you guys continue to stay safe and that you um, lift each other up with your family and I'm praying for each and every single one of you guys because I know this is really difficult stuff. It's hard, but um, we're all gonna get through.